So we are heading away from this anchorage tomorrow. The wind's going to be much stronger than it was the other day when we recorded our fastest sail at 7.7 .7 knots. It was our fastest speed. Anyway, this will be the last time before I can try and catch a fish with the spear. Like we said, we are aiming to get to another country, uh, but not after a mini refit or just polishing up on things. Like I said, the autopilot, the motor and everything. But anyway, we're here in this really clear water anchorage and I think I might have seen some fish that can be speared. So I'm just sharpening up my makeshift uh, spiky thing. Good morning everybody. Yeah, no fish yesterday. I think maybe if I buy an actual spear gun it might be easier because the fish are just too shy. They don't want to be eaten for some reason. Today we head off down the coast about 30 miles and the wind's going to pick up to well it's going to be between four and six force four and four six so should be should be quite fun we are completely out of water pretty much we have a little bit of water to drink can't have my morning brew i'm not sure what we'll do for breakfast or lunch but uh we're gonna hope to head to a dock and try and skimp some water fill up our tank somehow but we'll see Ah, there she is, smoking away, and we're almost ready to leave. <sighs> it's always so tense leaving under engine now, but it started up reasonably okay. Still the old smoke. Doing four knots at 1500 revs. Just trying to get out into the wind so we can turn it off as soon as possible. Funky today, funkier than we've ever had. So I kind of messed up and um, we've motored for about an hour because the, we set off too early and that was my call. I thought the wind was going to pick up. So yeah, hopefully it's going to show soon. So we've come in land a bit and finally we're sailing. It's a land breeze and it was suggested by Waze Goose Warrior who were over there, they got even closer in. I think they will, as usual, overtake. <laughs> but it's nice to be sailing. We're sailing at three knots, 3.8. 3.8 knots and there's really no wind. Yeah. Uh, it's nice. We are heading straight to land though, we're not really on course. It's just nice to feel the wind, such a cliche, but <laughs> feel the breeze on you. Yeah. Oh, there's a bit of wind, you can see. And two hours late, the wind picked up. The sea breeze. Oh yes, now we can see this boat sailing again. Guys, get your put your main sail up t-shirts, now available on Teespring. Not for the lazy sailors. <laughs> Although, that's a main too, isn't it? Entering the Badlands. I wonder if these things will stay over after 500 years. <laughs> Probably be more of it. <laughs> Her life 
this mistral place is perfect for kite surfers. Heaven! So it feels like a bit of a homecoming <laughs> coming back here, but it's, it's literally for one day just to fill up the water and say hi and bye to a few people and we'll be off soon and we'll be making some improvements to the boat over the next couple of weeks getting it ready for our big trip and for a few people who had dedicated to the donation to this little lad <laughs> this little lad we got him a big box of stuff mainly food but we also got like a few good quality toy which is called Kong mm. and uh, yeah hopefully he likes it and thank you very much I know he can't say thank you but you can see from his eyes that he's appreciating <laughs> ah. <laughs> do you like the cardboard box? Yoshi what's this? Ah. oh my goodness not sponsored but yeah not sponsored are you sure you've not been doing some uh <laughs> were you not a child model Nadiana? <laughs> oh i didn't miss these little guys oh so bad there's so many and well, everyone told us when we got off the boat they're so it's bad it's a famous place look yoshi this is your little octopus <laughs> <laughs> i thought that you bought that uh, friend to have sex with i did i thought this is well big and this is his favorite look at him look at him oh my goodness Oh, he's gone with the whole pack. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna open the pack by himself. And this is the most famous con toy. Yeah, you fill it with stuff and yeah. then you bite it. Look. <laughs> so, uh, batteries and electrics, not my forte. Uh, but Kieran here, who's also got a boat here. Not my forte either. <laughs> <laughs> no, his, his boat is wired up perfectly. Anyway, Kieran's um, donated us some, some of his older batteries um, because we are having a lot of battery problems. Mm. Uh, so basically this one is really hot and it smells like egg in here. Yeah, the, other, the other three are kind of okay, but I guess you're just trying to work out. How trying to work out, yeah, where, where, the, where the cables go, I guess, um, which is which is fairly well done actually. I'm just trying to yeah. make sure that we don't cross anything because once we start unplugging these, we have to make sure we don't have any short circuits because with this kind of amperage uh, in play without any isolators here, uh, we have to be we have to be very careful. About okay, cool. It sounds like it's boiling in there. Yeah, yeah. So it'll, it'll still be getting charged from the solar, I guess. And maybe that's... Ah, yeah, okay. We've got a direct entry from the solar then. Where does that... Uh, I wouldn't know how to disconnect the solar. Ah, uh, well, these don't. Yeah, these come through here, so they should. I think. It sounds like it's boiling, which is, which is, which is really not good. Yeah, I'll put the microphone closer. They can, they can let go and spray acid on you, which is a uh, really serious issue. Then we're both gonna have to jump in the ocean real quick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay. I don't know what just happened with jiggling those cables there, but uh, nothing should have in theory because we've got plenty of play everywhere. They're not, you know, they're not yeah. touching anything. They're in a good position. And then we saw that our solar charger started to started making strange. Yeah, it started indicating up to 17 volts, which, which from a panel is normal, but um, it, it was flickering. And uh, yeah, we've, mm. got, we've got a couple little demons here. We need to be careful of. Um, yeah. We just need to make sure that we're not having any current going anywhere that it shouldn't be and that we've understood how the system is laid out at least a, a little bit okay before we try to unplug anything or touch anything um, so we just need to run run through and then we've got to see about this so we're just taking it out being very cautious well kieran's been super cautious i i, I guess i don't really understand fully how dangerous it is i'm terrified <laughs> <laughs> is it so hot yeah. About 70 degrees. Alright, here we go. This is the f one. This is the f one. Yosh. Right. Come on, buddy. Bugger up. Careful, careful. Keep it straight. Keep it straight. Alright, yep. drop it down. Okay. Yosh. Alright. F me. Yeah. <laughs> 
I feel how hot that thing is. Yeah. Check for any acid. Doesn't look Although, like that. You can probably see better through the camera. Yeah, true. Just put my hands down there to check. <laughs> Over there, so this would be. Oops. Oh, what's that squishing down there? Is there paper down there? Aha! Uh -huh. Ah! Aha! Uh -huh. User manual. Yeah, for that. It's a good thing to have around. <laughs> okay. It looks very old. Hey, Yoshi! What's going on, boy? You want to help? Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. It's yeah. looking a little bit better. So, uh, Kieran's gone, so. I've got Stu from Waste Goose Warrior <laughs> coming in to do the batteries now. I don't do any of this work myself. Don't need to now. <laughs> I'm just getting the final connections in. Uh, I think we might have dodged a pretty big bullet by getting these uh, batteries in because that battery, I didn't know it was actually that bad and that serious, but Kieran sorted us out. That's nice. However, uh, it needs to be noted that we've got four batteries if one of them failed then basically they all need replacing but for the rest of the season we're gonna just hope that they don't boil up again and that everything will be okay so we've got some mao tai brought by chris mao tai is uh <laughs> bye joe <laughs> it's the, you should be holding the yeah it's uh, the best Yoshi, chinese the rice one ever <laughs> It got me drinking, so it's really good. <laughs> so welcome back to the Wildlings from the maiden voyage. No major disasters. Fantastic. Well Cheers. Done. Cheers. 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 Thank you. Gumbay. Gumbay. Two wins in the following seas. Oh, oh, oh that's really good. That's the way to go. Oh. Ah. Bye bye again, Port San Jose. <laughs> we stilled uh, two nights of free mooring and now we're going in town to tie up properly and fix the engine properly. So we've departed for the marina and we're going to be there for a week and I can't help feeling like a bit annoyed at myself because we, we could probably make it work without paying the money of the just having the security of the marina. The dock that we were just at, we're not really supposed to be staying there because we've not committed our winter to, to this yard so yeah it, it, there's not many options for the wind that's coming in I mean it's a mistral and there are some options but I don't know I just want to be have comfort for changing the oil doing the autopilot changing the hydraulic oil and doing some little bits of that so the price for one week is 250 pounds so it's not, it's not the cheapest, but it's, uh, well, it's thanks to you guys, basically, you've gone to Coffee and PayPal. It's thanks to you guys who can afford it. Um, we, we still, though, we just absolutely love getting a free spot. Uh, the last kind of three weeks have been absolutely free. More than three weeks, actually, probably about a month. We've not paid a thing, so uh, it balances out okay, but we can't help feeling a bit bad. What do you think, darling? Think about what? Going to pay for a marina. Uh, I'm happy because I, in my opinion, we saved 3000 for fixing the engine. So spending yeah. like 300 to get it properly finished, I don't think that's a spending money. And uh, on the other hand, we have spent like a month for free in the Anchorage. So that's another top on top of it. So it's all good. Even the stingy Nariana approves. Okay, then we're okay. That's <laughs> good. This guy's got the right idea. Modern day pirate. I think this is the marina that we're paying for. <laughs> oh my god. So 
it's super quiet here. We're not in the town dock, so I'm gonna try kind of maneuvering the boat a little bit differently using kind of the dual controls, which I've not really done. Turning it in a circle and just having a little experiment trying to get used to it. Because uh, it's a pretty safe area. If, I, if all hell breaks loose, then I'm sure we'll be able to get to the side easy enough. So just a bit of practice really. everywhere <laughs> a bit of reversing <laughs> hey voila <laughs> How's the new home, Yoshi? What's so interesting about sorting these cables out is that they always tangle up. <laughs> Doesn't matter what you do, yeah. cables gonna tangle. So we were actually put on this pontoon because we're a catamaran. <laughs> Special catamaran club. Um, although they are keeping us next to the Badlands, so. There you go. I really don't want to sound like I'm complaining because, you know, we're happy, we've got electricity, we don't need to feel like we're treading on anyone's toes, and we've got a place sorted. We can do a little micro refit. Uh, but you can get the same, for the same price, you can stay in Nice or Cannes or a uh, beautiful city along the coast. So, And anyway, look at that. Little aquarium for us. Got lots of fish, mullet. Baby schnappers, mussels, and best of all, hopefully there's no dogs on this pontoon because Yoshi is terrible with other dogs. In the port that we were in, he was always looking out to see if there was other dogs and if there was, he would chase them. So, yeah, happy that we've got a barrier between us versus evil doggies. So here's the engine that we will be doing quite a lot of work in. In quite a few previous videos, a lot of people said, starting this engine with these glow plugs, I should be glowing it for half a minute or a minute or two minutes. But I covered it quite briefly, maybe like 10 or 12 videos ago. I actually put in these new glow plugs, which take 12 volts and they're actually fast glow plugs. So I bypassed the resistor 3.5, well, basically the resistor which takes them to 3.5 volts and put these in so they're taking 12.5, so they're very, very uh, fast glowing and going hot. So I have been glowing it for between 6 to 10 seconds, uh, which is the recommended amount. So Yeah, so like I said, we do get quite a lot of comments about those glow plugs, but unfortunately, I really wish it was the problem and that I did just have to glow them. Uh, for a bit longer, but it's not. It's with the smoke that we're getting. It's pretty clearly piston rings, or it's just pretty worn. So it's pretty much a compression problem, really, uh, which is not good, and it's a lot of work. But uh, we'll try and remedy some of those problems uh, for our our sailing to come. So a big thing is uh, sorting out the autopilot, and Stu has some good experience with this stuff. Can I think I'm a fan? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just really handy. Stu had, has actual first-hand experience installing these systems, so hopefully it's something simple. But I think, I think the motor is not actually attached. Oh, yes. That actually worked then. Is the new professional. Sure, <laughs> it's the new pro. But then when it moves to starboard, it uh, unlocks out. itself. Uh. You 
got that, Josh? <laughs> Where's the key? So something funky in the in here. Uh, let's see what we've got. Okay, that's the whole loop comes out that way. Yeah, that that cable connection's a bit funky. Yeah, a bit grimy, but nothing to write home about. So I was trying to oil it up and take it from there. Yeah. So it was a bit grimy inside, and we think that's what's been sticking the clutch. It is a clutch, isn't it? Is that what you yeah, call yeah. it? Oh, uh, yeah. But uh, silicone grease appears to have freed it up. Now we're just putting it back together. Auto, and forget yeah. So this lever is coming down. Don't forget to turn that way. Ah, look at that. So thanks to Stuart for helping us fix that autopilot. He said he did nothing, but he helped a lot. We've really not been getting much done. The weather has taken a turn for the worst. It is very cold now as well as wet and windy. So it's difficult to do anything. My oil arrived for the engine, but I'm still waiting on a few other bits like filters and stuff. And it's changed, it's getting wintry. Winter is coming. And we don't have a heater, <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're just going to snuggle up and get on with it later on in the week. My parents are coming this weekend, so uh, hopefully we can sail 150 miles, um, but the weather is just so temperamental and it's dangerous to sail to a very strict schedule. The idea is we want to get to Spain. We have 10 days while the parents are here. There is a bit of a deadline, but uh, we won't take any risks. But uh, yeah, looking at the forecast, it looks pretty funky at this point. But that's six days in advance. And six days here for a weather forecast is uh, a long, long time. Long. We also have a lot of work to do. Basically, this is a, a loop, I think, for clipping onto. So it's not a super important deck fitting, but it is leaking. Um, so many of the leaky deck fittings. This leaks a bit, doesn't it, from the corner? Not too bad. You open a window before. Okay, so that's not too bad. Uh, the windows are all okay, apart from, I think, this one, but I'm not sure if it's condensation. No, so that's I leaking think it's, down. Uh, it's uh, just need to tighten up the screws. Yeah. And the most hilarious thing about this is this window was actually the one that didn't leak before I refitted all the windows. And now this one's the first to leak. Unbelievable. <laughs> this is life. That's life. <laughs> uh, but we've got pots down everywhere because pretty much. You know, all these little deck fins. These are little cleats, which I don't even use. Uh, the the engine bay door, which is there, um, leaks through here. And yeah, pretty much every fitting, these leak. And obviously the flappy windows are just the worst at leaking. Yeah. Somebody didn't finish their job. No, I kind of did, but uh, I think they're designed to leak, even Justin said that. He so. was joking, basically saying they were so badly designed that they leak. Oh really? Yeah, I they're not designed to leak. No, 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 it's like a <laughs> destined to leak, not yeah, yeah, designed yeah, yeah, to yeah, leak. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the design is destined to leak, that's what I meant. Well, so, I mean, the leaks. Uh, I'll try to find more ways. I was thinking maybe we can build a little shed, like not shed, like a little wind shell. Yoshi, down. Good boy. Ah, boat life. Nothing better than a fresh dry bowl to collect the water, eh? 
nothing like it. Nothing like a dry tissue just to mop up. If we leave the boat over winter or for a month or two, all these need to be done. And I think I'll do it in about five days or something. All these fittings, just take them out, Allen key, fill with epoxy, re-drill, and bed with, uh, what's it called? Butyl tape instead of Sikaflex, because I can't be trusted with Sikaflex. Thank you to everyone who's showing up on the screen now for making our life so much easier. Like we said and touched on in the video a little bit about uh, going to that marina for a week. Uh, it's thanks to you guys that we can not worry about that too much. Although, as you saw, we were complaining a little bit. As you know, we hate spending money. Uh, so thank you so much to you guys and also you guys who like and uh, watch the videos to the end. We really appreciate it. So next week, more preparations and getting this boat seaworthier for some long distance sails. See you then. Thanks for watching.